Still down south, South Africa is the world's single largest producer of mohair, with some 4 million kilograms of the goat hair being produced every single year. Now, along with Lesotho, the two countries about, account for about 70% of global output. CCTV's Angelo Coppola found this report about a raw material used across the world, which is popular for the warmth it provides. There are over 1,000 mohair farmers in the Eastern Cape province. And there is a long-held perception that the unprocessed mohair is exported and beneficiated elsewhere. This appears to be a misnomer. And the rest of the world's mohair, the bulk of it, is imported to South Africa and further processed here. So, yes, there, there are further beneficiation in South Africa. In, in most cases, up to top form, which is 80% of the exports. But we also have two vertically integrated mills right here in the Eastern Cape producing the yarn. Now... Even the Moe manufacturers in South Africa and the Eastern Cape produce final products for the export market. The mohair industry runs on a series of 14 auctions throughout the year. These are split between the seasons and when the goats are sheared. It's no secret that prices have fluctuated fairly extensively and have been relatively depressed since 2008. But the tide appears to be turning. We've seen an average increase in the average market indicator from the, the, the beginning of this year of 18%. But what is very positive is the upswing in, in the adult market um, in the last two to three sales. And the adult market, of course, is mainly destined for China um, and because China is a, is a major user. On the finer end, the kids, which mo mo mainly goes to, to Italy, um, we've also seen a very, very strong demand, especially in the younger sector. The sector, like all production and manufacturing sectors in the country, are bound by black economic empowerment imperatives. Mohair South Africa set up a trust in 2010 to deal with the issue, and it appears that the improved auction prices have added impetus to this drive. Prices are at fairly good levels for producers. Um, we are taking steps to try and also assist producers in their farming operations in certain manners. We see that the um, emerging sector is a huge potential for us as an industry. The industry lost a large number of farmers to the wild gaming sector over the past 15 years because farmers felt that mohair prices were flat and wild game was seen as a means to make good money without being exposed to the elements. The mohair industry is a huge employer in the Eastern Cape, especially in the producer side and all the way through to where we're sitting now where they start sorting the mohair for different grades. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Port Elizabeth.